Many faces who within themselves, they think, you know what, brother, I've got a long time to go, man. I'm young, brother, I'm young. My brothers, I've had the most interesting five weeks of my life. I've buried almost eight brothers in the last five weeks. All of which were under the age of 25. All of which were under the age of 25 years old. And they didn't die because I was sick. They didn't die because, you know what, he had some illness that doctors couldn't work out. No, perfectly fine boys. Wallahi, one of them, one of them, 18 years old, built like a tank. We actually had to bend his legs when we put him into the ground. He was so big, we actually couldn't fit him into the hole. We actually had to bend his legs to get him in there. Under the age of 25, and ask me how many of them prayed. None of them. were familiar with Quran none of them this this is what the people around them are telling me this is what their friends are telling me my brothers you sit here hopeful thinking I have a long life what gives you this hope my brother go to the cemetery Allah, please I urge you Go to the cemetery and look and read the tombstones. But gone are the days when, you know, Wallahi, I remember growing up, death belonged to Abu Ali and Abu Ahmed, who's done Hajj and all of his kids are now married. And, you know, he's got grandkids. He's seven years old. He's croaking a white beard. Those days are long gone. You know, I'm 30 now. And for the most part of my life, every funeral I went to was in the old section of Rookwood Cemetery. In the last few years, we filled up that one, plus two new sections that they gave us, and we're already halfway through the new one that they gave us. And 70% of these people that are buried there, 70% are under the age of 35 years old. And yet we're still running amok in this world. We're still running amok. My brother's life is serious, man. I hate to break it to you, Wallahi. You know, I can sit here and give you this nice, beautiful talk with the Indian background dancers, Aflam Hindi. I can do that for you, inshallah, and make you feel good. You know, brothers told me, brother, why have you become so pessimistic? Why don't you speak about the mercy of Allah? The Rahmah of Allah gives people hope. Sometimes hope in the wrong hands, hope in the wrong hands can actually destroy the person. One of the great companions of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I believe it was Ma'ad bin Jabal, I believe it was him. On his deathbed, Halas, last days in his life. Conversation now between him and Allah. He says, Ya Allah, you know that I lived my whole life in fear of you. He says, Ya Allah, I lived my whole life in fear of you. And now, Ya Allah, I'm on my deathbed. Khalas, I'm dying. I'm going. I'm leaving. Now, Ya Allah, even if I wanted to do something, I physically can't. So, Ya Allah, I'm asking now. Now, I'm knocking on the door of your Rahmah. Ya Allah, now I'm knocking on the door of your mercy. He says, I lived my whole life in what? In fear. But now, Ya Allah, khalas, I've reached an age where even if I wanted to do something, I can't. I'm too old. I'm too fragile. I'm too brittle. I'm too sick. 
I actually can't get out of the bed. Now, Ya Allah, now at this moment of my life, I'm knocking on the door of your mercy, Ya Allah, I'm asking that you have rahmi upon me. I ask you, my brother, sincerely, did this companion not know the verses of rahmah? No, he knew it. But he knew, my brothers, that his life is serious. Brothers, you only get one shot. There's no coming back. There's no coming back. You only get one shot at life. The choice is yours. The choice is yours. Wallahi, wallahi. Brothers, brothers, I'm lowering them into the ground and the faces around me are crying and family is breaking down and people are in confusion. Wallah, it was an accident. Wallah, he wasn't supposed to be there. Brother, he was at the wrong place at the wrong time. This is rubbish. It's rubbish. My brothers in Islam, there's no such thing as wrong place, wrong time. Do you know what you're saying indirectly? What you're saying is Allah made a mistake when I Billah. No, my brother, he was at the right place at the right time. And that's how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to take his life. So I ask you, my brother, how will you be when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes your life? Why is it that we're 20 and 25 and 26 and 30 and we still feel like we're young? Brother, what made you young? My brothers, you have one shot at life. One shot. There's no coming back. You can't come back to fix things up. Please, my brother, Wallahi, I'm begging you, not for my sake, for your sake, make it right, man. Make it right. Alhamdulillah, we are happy to announce the launch of the One Islam TV app. Watch hundreds of high quality produced Islamic reminders, Quran learning videos, stories of the prophets, and so much more. Two new videos uploaded daily, insha'Allah. Watch videos on demand, or download videos and watch offline. No more annoying ads or pop-ups. 100% safe browsing for your peace of mind. Watch or listen to lectures and lessons while you work, rest, or drive with your device switched off. One Islam TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means the small amount you pay for your subscription is a sadaqa jariya, continuous charity for you, as we use the funds raised to continue producing more beneficial videos and reminders. Insha'Allah. The One Islam TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. So you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 7-day trial. May Allah reward you for supporting our work.